all right so with the last video i think that we actually finished the users and then now it's time to get going with the admin panel in this video i should show you the design um of the admin panel that we are going to be using to simply uh, manipulate or control the user's end but i'm not only going to just show you the design i actually want to go ahead and i want to uh, work you know clean up these routes right because we cannot simply leave them like that uh, i simply set up some of these prefixes so we can actually use them uh, later um all right so you know here is how we're gonna uh do this so we're, we're basically gonna go ahead and we're gonna group these routes by this prefix right over here all right so we're not gonna work with those we're just gonna work with the jobs and with the users prefixes all right so to do this i'm just gonna go routes i'm simply gonna go group all right i'm simply gonna open this up and i'm gonna send in my prefix which is the jobs prefix so cut this go ahead and paste like that and simply right here i'm gonna go function and i'm gonna send in uh, the routes keyword and right here i'm gonna simply end this up like that all right i'm gonna send this in so i can actually use it all right so all what we're gonna do right now we're just gonna cut all of these links all right all the links that have the jobs prefix and cut all of them and simply go ahead right here and just paste like that all right i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna push this um like that all right so now it looks a little better uh let's go ahead and let's remove these let's now remove the prefixes from all of these links right along with the slash all right so now save this let's go ahead and for example let's refresh all right so i want to go back to home for example all right so here we go um i want to go ahead for example and um let me see yeah i want to open this up all right so there we go right over here you know the jobs the single job which is this link right here it's working perfectly if we go for example for the, the programming right here and if we click this up all right so as you can see everything is being grabbed you know the jobs the category slash programming and the links are working fine so we're also going to do this for the users and or sorry for the users uh links uh so we're gonna copy this part and we're gonna paste like that we're gonna go ahead right here and simply uh, push this all right we're gonna go right here And we're gonna cut this and let's remove this so let's also remove all of these now let's refresh this uh, actually not refresh let's delete this let's save oh now if we go ahead and try to access any one of those links which is actually are you know a couple of these right here um let's see for example let's try and access the public profile all right so we're grabbing the data right and uh you know it's not giving me not found uh this is the most important thing so as you can see we're trying to access all of those and we're getting those links uh which means that everything is working perfectly uh so yeah this will actually be uh everything except that we need i need to show you the admin panel all right so there it is the admin panel right here you're gonna find the code for you know in the resources section for this video um so just go ahead and you know grab it right away so as you can see right there in the index page you're gonna be like grabbing uh you know some of the statistics that we will have inside our own app the number of applications admins categories and the jobs right here and um right here we will be able to view the admins we will create even new ones you know right here we will be able to view the categories and create new ones update and delete them and right here we will be able to see the jobs and delete them and even create new jobs and right here we will be able to see the cvs for the applicants or for the job applications and we will be able to see the job title 
uh, and the company and maybe we will set up also the email so these are basically uh the data in the applied jobs table uh right over here right which is uh, which carries the information for the guy who's applying for jobs um so yeah as you can see right right there there is a lot of things that you will learn creating this job uh creating this admin panel and yeah this will be all and i will see you in the next video all right now so let's go ahead and start creating our admin panel um in this video is just going to go ahead and we're going to create the model and we're going to hook it with a table um and we're also going to start you know and we're going to start with the view or login page all right we're going to set up the form um so yeah let's go ahead and do this so to start with this we need to go ahead and create a model for the admins all right so i'm going to actually go to my c drive i'm going to go to exam I'm going to go to HD Docs. I'm going to go to CI dash job board. Uh, right here, I'm going to pick up my get. You can simply open up your command line if you don't have get. All right, I'm just going to go um, PHP Spark make model. And I'm simply going to create this model in the admin folder. All right, and I'm going to gonna go like this. And, you know, this will just create a folder named admin. And this will create a model uh, named admin all right so let's go ahead and let's check this out so if we go to the folder models we'll find admin right here all right so uh, you know just like any other model that we create we will have a table name right here and right here in the allowed fields uh, array we will just name our own um our own columns all right so i will have a column for the name and i also have one for the email and I will have one for the password. Like that. All right. So save this. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Let's try and create this uh, table right here. All right. So let's paste this in. And there it is. The ID. This will be integer 10 right there. And right here i will just go auto increment and this will be a primary key all right so i want to go ahead and i want to pick up uh the other um the other columns right here so this will be a name it will be a var car and it will be a length of 200 all right and right here i'm gonna go with the email all right so this will be a var car 200 and let's go ahead var car and there it is 200 right there all right so there we go all right so we're gonna grab this we're also gonna add the created at so this will be a timestamp and it will be a current timestamp so it'll actually grab the current time and this will be updated at right here and we're gonna grab um also will be a timestamp and that will be our current timestamp. All right, so if we click save. All right, so this will actually create our own table. All right, so the next step, it will be setting up the view. Or actually the route. Yeah, the route first. So to set up the route, so we're going to go to the routes file. And there it is. Um, all right, I'm just going to pick up like this link, for example. And of course, we will have our own... Um, uh, like prefix for the admin panel and this prefix it will be admins all right and this will just be log and like that all right so this link it will just um pitch in or it will display uh the form all right so this will actually uh we will hit the admins folder inside the admins folder we will create an admins controller inside the admins controller we will go log in right there and this is our own function and we're going to name this um something like log and like that all right simply actually let's name it something else i would say admins dot login all right so save the whole thing let's go ahead right now and create this controller so i'm going to go ahead right here and i'm going to go um hp artisan make controller and I'm gonna create an admins folder inside it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the admin controller like that or the admins controller like that and there we go this will actually create our controllers if we go right there as you can see right here we got our own controller all right so let's pick up this function and let's simply go ahead and try and create it so i'm gonna go right here and paste this in all right so i'm gonna go ahead right here and i want to go something like a return view and i will go to the admins folder and i will grab the login uh the login uh, view right there or the login file all right so save the whole thing uh, let's go ahead right here and uh, let's try and create this in the views um so inside the views we will go ahead and create this folder right here so this will be admins like that and i'm gonna go login.php all right so yeah so and uh, you know for the admin panel we need to go ahead and we need to create um some kind of template master if you remember in, you know in the layouts right here we created this template master and that was for uh for the user's end or for the user's side but since the user side and the admin side are going to be different in design and the number uh, or actually the files that will be required in the header and so on we need to create a new one all right so for this right here i'm going to create an admin.php and this will be our template master all right and again the template master will just handle all all the files that that are going to be required in the design and so on the javascript and the css files and it will handle the header and the footer and it will also handle the part where we fetch the dynamic body um all right so we need to go ahead and we need to grab the header and the footer so open up your design the code that i give you you know for you know for the admin panel in sublime or any text editor that you like and go ahead to the index.html and let's pick up the header All right so we're going to start picking up the header or the navbar starting from the dev with the class container dash fluid all right so we want to copy this and we want to go right here and paste um all right so let's also grab um the footer so if we go down at the bottom right here you can stop we can start grabbing the footer from here all right so let's go ahead and paste this in all right then save uh now we want to go ahead and want to grab the part that will allow us to fetch the dynamic the dynamic body and if we go right here we will actually find this part that's going to be similar um so let's copy it and let's paste it like that so again you know once we need to fetch the dynamic body after we fetch the header and the footer we'll go ahead and start this section with this keyword all right and the render section right here it will pick up this keyword and it will render uh the section uh, you know uh, like this place right here just as a just, just as a dynamic body um all right so save the whole thing uh, let's now go ahead and try um let me see try to include this admin actually try to include this template master which is admin.php in the login page so uh we can actually go right away and we can go maybe to the home and we can pick up these codes can go right here and paste and we can go right here also and go like this um we can simply end this section so i'm gonna go this section um i'm gonna go down we're gonna go to the home i'm gonna go down all right so so it's actually end section not section so end section right there and it's assembly a function it will be ended like that all right so again once we you know right here we're trying to extend the admin panel actually which is the template master and we're just starting the section using keywords so we can grab the dynamic body and yeah we're just you know uh, ending or finishing the section that's all so save the whole thing and now let's go ahead and grab the part of the body uh, of the body of the dynamic body and let's paste it right here so if you go to your admins folder you're gonna find login dash admins which is which contains our form all right so uh, as you can see 
we actually grabbed the the part for the header starting from the div with the container with the it was the div with the class container dash fluid uh so we're gonna start grabbing the dynamic body from that div with the class row all right so just copy this and go ahead right here and paste like that all right so save the whole thing let's now go ahead and try to access um this link so i'm gonna go right here i'm gonna go admins flash and simply log in like that oh, let's see what's gonna go down all right so as you can see right there we're actually getting the form except that the design is messed up a little if you look at this section if you look at these links it should be on the side right here in uh, in a black div all right but you know they're uh they're up right here in the nav bar which means that something is wrong with the design and you also have the form right here it's looking weird so um if we if we click on the console right here you're gonna see that it's giving us this blah 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 actually i don't think that this is the error but you know let's go ahead and uh, i know where the problem is if you go back to uh to your admin uh, to your template master for the admin you're gonna find that we're trying to grab a style.css file right here it should be in the folder styles but we do not have this just yet and also um uh, the, the directory is messed up so we have to go uh base url and we will go to the public folder slash assets slash um yeah we will we're gonna create a folder we're gonna name it styles and we're gonna create the style.css file like that all right so save this go ahead in your public right here and go in the um go in the assets and create this right here styles like that and right here create this file which is style.css so I'll go ahead right here and go new file and go like that all right so here we go right there um and you're simply gonna find the code for this style.css right here in the styles folder all right you're just gonna go ahead copy this whole thing and paste like that and save all right so actually refresh this i think that the error will be you know will be gone or the error will go and as you can see right there you know the links right here are are on the side and we have the login uh form right here it's working perfectly uh so yeah it's, it's pretty great so yeah i think that this is all for this video and the next one we should process the logic of the login and we will go from there. So this will be all. And I will see you in the next video. Alright. So in the last video we went ahead. And we set up um, the form. We created the model and the table. And now it's time to actually go ahead. And take care of uh, the logic of the login. Um, Alright. So we're going to we're gonna get back to the routes. Like always. And we're going to start from here. So copy this and paste. We need to create a post url for this or a post link for this so i'm gonna keep both of those the same uh right here all right and of course in this function we're gonna check we're gonna you know name this function as check login all right and we're gonna name this view as admins dot login dot check like that all right so this will handle the logic basically so copy you know copy this function Go ahead right here and paste let's copy this function right here let's go down the bottom and paste like that so cut this and paste all right and i already prepared the logic because it's too big it's gonna take it's gonna take quite a bit of time to write so go ahead and check out the resources section for this video and you'll find the logic of the login uh so there is actually the logic so copy the whole thing let's go ahead right here and paste like that all right so um let's go right at the top so here is what we're gonna do once the user clicks on the login right here this after he provides the data of course we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna instantiate the session uh class right here all right so of course we're gonna we're gonna uh store everything in a session so we can actually uh, validate you know validate our login system and also uh, echo out um the admin name right here and so on 
all right so after we simply store everything inside a session or simply start or create an object from um from a session right here or an instantiation an instantiation of the session class uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work with the model so our model uh we're gonna init let's instantiate the admin model right here so this will be admin like this and this will actually be admin like that all right so we're just making an object of this class right here i actually want to import this class since i'm going to use it i'm just going to go right here at the top i'm going to go app slash models slash admin we're going to go to the admin folder and then we're going to access the model we're going to access our model uh, our admin model right here all right so right after we instantiate the class we're going to go ahead and we're going to check for the input that's coming so we're going to grab the data using the request all right so we're gonna go get var get var and the get var also it's like get post all right it's gonna grab the data uh from the input with the name email all right and we also have another data that's coming which is the password so we will insert or we will store the data that's coming from the input password from the input with the name password and the password um variable right here all right, so now we got the two pieces of data that the user is providing. Let's go ahead and try to check. All right, so we're going to go data and we're going to start with the password. So we need the model right here so we can actually check if, you know, if the admin that the user entered, which we stored in this email right here, uh, checks or matches an email which we have inside the email column, which is right here. All right, so if we got one, we will get the whole data. We will get the whole email right here all right and simply insert it or store it in this variable so we're going right after this and we're going if data if we actually stored uh this email or if we or if we got a matching email right over here we're gonna simply continue with the password so we're gonna go and simply uh create some kind of function right there uh, sorry create some kind of variable and we're gonna go a uh, data password right there and what we're trying to get right here we're just trying to get the password so we're going to go authenticated password uh right over here so again what we're doing is we're trying to check actually this this is this like uh, this is right now sounds like a, some kind of array um all right it's not it's not like a normal variable because right here you know in this array we can simply grab e either the password the email or uh the name all right because we already like grabbed everything that we have right here grabbed the whole row that's related to this email and we stored it in this array right here uh all right so we're gonna simply go password like that uh and we're gonna you know store this store the the password right here in this variable so we're gonna go authenticated password right after this and we're gonna use the password verify function so for the password verify function it basically grabs some password some raw password from the user and it simply match it with a hash that's that's already inside our own uh database or inside our own table all right so this is what's basically doing so what we're what we're doing right here is we're trying to grab the password that the user provided or simply or sorry this is the password um this is the password that's coming from that's coming from the date right here so this is the password that's coming from the table right or from the column password and we're trying to match it with the password that the user already provided right here all right so this is what we're doing again the password verify works in a way you know it works really well with the password hash function all right we which we will use later to create new admins all right so the password verify uh, gets a password that's already and the column uh which is the hash which is this right here which is again it's coming from this array since we already grabbed the whole data for this guy right here using this array we store it in this array all right and then it's going to grab the password that the raw password that's coming from the data and it's going to match both of those together all right so if we got a match that means that we got the password right so if we got the password right that's what we're saying right here we're gonna get all the user data and we're gonna you know store it in some kind of array right here we're gonna get the id the name and the email and we're gonna have some kind of other value right here some kind of other key which is is logged in which simply checks 
um, if we're logged in or not. We're going to use this, you know, later in the session. All right. So again, what we're doing right here, we're grabbing all the data that's related to this user from the row. If we got an email and a password, right. All right. So right after this, we're just using the session, um, you know, the session object that we already did right there. And we're simply storing our storing all of this array that we created in this session so what we're doing right here we're storing all this user data in this session right there so we can actually use it later um all right and right after this we are going to return since we got all of this right since we got the password and the email right we're going to go ahead and redirect to a page this page it will be you know admins slash index like that all right, so this is the index page of the admin panel. Actually, before this, we want to go base underscore URL. All right, we want to cut this. All right, so we want to go ahead right here. And we want to copy this. We want to paste it like that. All right, so right here, um, I guess I guess that this block it will be executed once we have a wrong password. So this will be set uh, flash data, uh, session set flash data, and we're simply gonna send in this message, which is password is incorrect. All right, and we're gonna get back to the uh, login page actually. So I wanna go ahead and I wanna copy this, for example. I wanna go login all right and this block it will be also uh executed once we have a wrong pass the wrong password in you know right over here so we will also go to the log in page if we have the wrong password all right so i want to go ahead and i want to paste this in like that and simply save um so yeah this will actually this will actually be everything i uh, mean we will go back to the login page and we will set up the action just to let this form know where we where we need to go um so we're gonna head the url underscore two and we're simply gonna send in uh the name of the route for the post route uh so i want to go back to the routes and there it is let's paste this in and we're simply gonna save like that if we look at the inputs we're gonna see the name is email right here so this is the input for the email and the name right here is password and this is the input for the password great now all what we need to do is just save we have the button right there type submit and the name is submit and that's also great so i guess that everything right here is look it actually actually looks looks great uh great um so yeah i want to also go ahead and i want to create this link since we already said it it will go back to the index page right there so we want to go ahead right here and I'm gonna paste this in. Let's copy this link and let's paste like that. Let's cut this and paste. Uh, all right, so this will actually head the index page right here. And we're gonna name this admins.index like that. All right, so save the whole thing. Uh, copy this function and let's try and create it. So I'm gonna go ahead right here. I'm gonna paste this in. And this will just for now, uh, it will go back to this um it, it, it will go back to a certain view which is the index view uh, obviously all right so we're gonna return to the view uh admins right here it will be in the index page all right so copy this all right so we're gonna go back to the admins folder dot php um so yeah, let's go ahead and go to the index.html and let's pick up the part for the dynamic body. And that will actually be all. So there it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead right here. I'm going to paste this in. Uh, maybe we'll go back to the admin, pick up um, this code right there and paste. And let's go back to the login, pick up this code and simply paste like that. Um, so yeah, save the whole thing right now all right so i guess that's all what we need to do right now uh, let's just go ahead and refresh 
uh, let's try and log in but before we log in we need some kind of data actually in the admin stable so we can log in um all right so because of course you're not going to have a register page for the admins because you don't want anybody to just go ahead and register on your own web app we're going to create the admins data from inside all right so maybe you want someone to be an admin on your own web app and handle the you know handle the all the operations and all of that we you will create the email the password and all of that by yourself and you're going to give it to this this guy or to this girl all right um so yeah so for the name right here i'm just going to keep it my name like that you can write it whatever that you like and the email right there i'm just going to keep it admin dot first one two three or one two you know again this is completely up to you so we're going to go gmail uh, dot com so for the password since we're using in the login logic since we're using the password verify we need some kind of hash all right that's already right in our own uh, that's already inside our own um column password all right so we need a hash right here so we can match it to the data that the user is going to provide the raw password that the user is going to provide in this input um all right so we already have a hash so if we go to uh to the users well not the users actually if we if we go to the auth identifies you're, you're gonna find a hash right there all right and this hash belongs to the password which is the secret tool right here all right the secret right here this is the email and we already have this password right here it's completely hashed if you remember uh, that i told you to save your email and password you know when we first uh, created when we first registered as a user you know at the beginning of this course um so if you saved it you will already know that the password the real password for this hash is actually this this is the raw password for it all right so after you insert uh, the password like that the email and the name let go all right so as you can see right there all right so there you can see uh, now let's go ahead and copy the email and try to log in and again the real password for this is actually like that all right so copy this go ahead right here and paste let's click login all right so as you can see we actually logged in and it's all fine it's all great so uh, and basically to know you know we know that this works fine because again after we grab uh, after we has this step or we simply succeed in this step the data step which means that we got an email and after we succeed in this authenticated you know uh, authenticate password step that means that we got a password uh, right so basically the password and the email basically in one row so that means that we have a match right there so we're gonna grab all the data that's related to this user the id the name and the email and we're gonna store it in some kind of session and then we're gonna redirect back to the index page right there all right so yeah we're gonna head this link and this link will actually be in the routes which will head this function if we look at our controllers this function basically gets us uh, a view of the index uh, right here so yeah this is and this is what we got actually so yeah congrats so this will be all and i will see you in the next video in the next video we should actually uh validate a couple of things here and there echo out our admin name in this area right here so yeah this will be all and i'll see you in the next one okay now so let's go ahead and try and uh pass in the session uh into the index page let's echo out the username uh, let's validate the user uh, let's validate uh, the front end right here so for example once we're logged in we're not going to see we we don't want the user to see this login link all right something else that we can validate is this uh, part right here these links so once the user is logged in he can see those all right but once he's logged out he cannot see them all right so i hope that makes sense so again if the user is logged out the only page that will be here that will uh, that he's allowed to access is this login uh is the login page 
all right so this is it um so now let's go ahead so since we are in the index let's pass in the session all right so we already grabbed the session right here and actually grab this once again and we can go ahead and paste uh, we can go ahead copy this and we can go compact for example and we can paste this in and we can save if we go now to our admin.php and let's go ahead right here to add the username and we can simply go uh, since we send in the session we can go session and simply we can send in the name like that all right so we'll save this and let's go ahead and refresh all right so as you can see right there we actually got the name so awesome um all right so we can also go right here at this part and we can go um and validate these links so i'm gonna go right here so again once the user is logged in he cannot see this login so i'm really just gonna grab this login link to uh, to easing things up to easing the validation up and i'm gonna go right here i'm gonna go php and i'm gonna check if is set um session so if we already have the session right here um we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna display the home link we're also gonna display uh this drop down menu and if not we're gonna go php else right here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send in this login we're gonna equal out this login link right here so i'm gonna go php and f like that all right so let's go just um let's now ref you know save this so let's refresh if this work this login link shouldn't be there and now it shouldn't it's it's actually not there so it's gone all right i also want to validate um these links you know right here and i'm gonna so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna go above this ul i'm simply gonna check so if we have a session if the session is set let's echo let's echo out the ul and if not we're gonna go and f like that all right so there we go right there um let me see all right so save this let's refresh of course nothing will happen and that's of course because we're logged in so since we're logged in we can see the, we can see those now um all right so i think that it's it's time to actually create the logout so for the logout i'm just gonna go to the routes and i'm gonna also make this uh this this whole thing uh just uh completely manual all right as we did for the login all right uh, we can actually use the login uh, the login that we already have in the user's end if for example um yeah we can hit we can hit the route for the logout right away all right at this part um at this part right here but i prefer to actually create the whole logout uh logic manually all right so yeah i want to go ahead log out right here um all right and this will hit the logout function I'm going to name this as admins that as admins dot logout. All right, so save this. Let's now go ahead and grab this function. And let's go ahead and paste, copy this and paste. All right, cut this and paste like that. All right, so awesome. So all what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the session and we simply need to unsave the session and to unsave the session. We're going to grab all of these. And we're just going to go down here gonna paste this in all right so we can simply remove this return view all right so again we're gonna start the session and right here for the you know for the data uh for the data that we grabbed right there in this array we're gonna unsend those so instead of giving them these pieces of data uh, that we do not have in this method in the current method right there we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unset them right here and this will help us of course when we go ahead and uh, in the next video and we're gonna even uh, uh we're gonna do more validation all right so i'm gonna keep the is logged in e as false and again this will help us you know once we validate even more 
uh in the logic you know logically in the next video all right so after unsetting this whole array and giving it just uh empty data we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it we're gonna send it uh, right there in the session and then we're gonna return redirect to the log uh the login page all right so we're gonna go log in all right so this is where we're gonna go after uh we log out all right so save the whole thing let's go ahead at admin right here and we're gonna go back at this part um of the logout and we're gonna go url underscore two and we're gonna go go the admins dot logout uh right there all right so save this now let's refresh and if we go ahead right here you hover over this now you can see that it's going to slash admin slash logout you simply go ahead and log out or it says you can see right there we're going to admins slash login like that so i guess the part for the log out and these validations is simply uh, sorry the validations are not over but the log out is simply over right now all right so the next video we're going to validate even more we've we validated the front end in this video and the next one it's going to be a little more difficult because we're going to validate um the back end code uh even more the back end code even more all right so using the filters right so this will be all and i'll see you in the next video all right so in the last video we went ahead we validated the front end um we did the logout and we echoed out our admin name and now it's time to actually take care of the validation even more um so for example right here we're locked uh, we're locked out and since again we're locked out we cannot access anything but the login page which what we're accessing right here uh, but let's see that we have some kind of curious user you know uh that you know he maybe wants to hijack the index page by simply going to uh the index page from the link right here or from the search bar so if we click like this we you know write in index and we try to go to the index page if you look right here you can see that we can actually access the index page which is wrong and we cannot simply see even our um our admin name all right but this shouldn't happen in general once you're logged out you can only access just the login you cannot hijack any you know any other page or you know you cannot grab any other page or access any other page and so on uh so we're going to go ahead and we want to create a filter to protect this index page right here from hijacking um and if you're not familiar with filters we're basically think of them like guards if you're coming from laravel and if you don't know laravel or basically a filters are just a way of enforcing some rules on your own uh, methods urls and so on uh, because this is all that you do in programming actually you just check for something and you make a decision and so on all right so think of the filter it's just like a, a checkpoint all right uh you know you have to do something you know in this route but you cannot do something with some other route and so on all right so let's create this filter so you know open up your command line and i'm gonna go right here php spark make and simply filter like that and simply write the filter name i'm gonna i'm gonna name mine pause uh filter like that all right so there it is our first filter now will be created and to simply access the filters as always you go to app uh you go to filters and there we go right there auth filter all right so this is where we're gonna write our own logic the public function before all right uh and simply the logic i prepared it's actually pretty simple um go ahead and check out the resources section and you will find it so copy the logic and paste all right so here is here is what we're doing right here we're simply checking if this guy do not uh, you know if the login right here that's related to the session is not there or it's actually false all right if we do not have a session this is what this whole thing means if you look at this for example this is logged in uh keyword and if we go back to the admins controller you can see that once we log out we are setting this keyword right here to false right which basically what this line means right here if the login if is logged in is simply false we're gonna redirect back 
actually to the admins uh, slash log n. All right, so if we do not have a session, we're gonna go back to the login link uh, or or to the login routes uh, route once again. This this is what this logic means right here. All right, so save the whole thing. Um, and now to use this filter, we need to go ahead and we need to uh, to register it. All right, so we're gonna register this in the config folder right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead um, right here. We're gonna look up the filters.php so again in order to use this filter we need to register it so we need we're gonna include first so we can register it so we're gonna go to app uh filters um all right so we're gonna go to filters flash and then and then we're gonna send in the filter name right there which is we copy this and Go ahead and paste like that all right so this is it let's now copy this and go right here and paste this in so i'm going to copy one of those aliases and we're simply going to sit an alias for this like that so i'm going to name this alias as pause filter like this right here all right so now this will actually be all so save this and to use this filter now we're going to just copy the alias that we created we're going to go back to the route and then we're going to impose this filter on our desired url so our desired url what we're trying to protect is the index page so this is where we're gonna go right here at this part and we're just gonna go filter all right and we're gonna simply send this in as a value all right and save this like that all right so now let's go ahead and try and refresh this all right so we got an error so class os filter not found all right so we got something wrong once we register uh we're gonna go back to filters all right so um we're gonna go back to app yeah this should be filters not filter so we're trying to go to this so we can actually find this right here all right, so if we refresh this, all right, so as you can see right there, the filter is actually working. Let's actually try this once again and go to the index once we're logged out. And as you can see, we're getting back to the login page, which is just amazing. Um, all right, so let's log in right now and let's see, because there is also some other, um, uh, let's see, some other uh validation or some other filter that we're gonna that we're going to be creating all right so pick up the password and also pick up the email and log in like that all right so now we are in the index page and it's all fine or authorized all right so since we're logged in also we cannot access the login page all right we cannot access this page by any means because we do not you know this just looks weird when you're logged in and you can uh, and you can simply hijack the login page all right so for example you know let's see yeah 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 we we hide you know we hide it um the login link but simply the user can still hijack the page from the url or from the search bar right here which is unacceptable all right so we have to simply create a filter like this and we're gonna reverse it all right so right here we're just gonna go login filter like that all right so so there it is right here all right so we're just gonna go to this logic we're gonna copy it we're gonna go right here and we're gonna simply paste this in and we're gonna simply remove that and once we um we're simply right here saying if the session is right there if we're authorized if we're logged in get the user back to the index page right away all right so save the whole thing um all right and what we need to do we need to also go to the filters and we need to go ahead and copy this and paste so we're gonna go for this and we're gonna go log and filter and this right here will be log and filter all right so save the whole thing let's go back to the routes let's go ahead right here copy this 
and let's impose this on this part so we're just gonna paste this in all right so save this after we applied our own filter and now let's go ahead and refresh this all right so we got an error so glass config login filter not found yeah of course we did not even include this well, let's go back to the to the page to the file you know where we simply register our filter so now we simply you know grab this filter included it so we can simply now work with it like that all right so now let's refresh this all right so as you can see right there once we're logged in and if we try to hijack the login page, we will go back to the index like that, which is, which is just amazing. Um, all right, so I guess I, I guess that this is pretty simple. Everything is simple right now. Everything is clear. Let's close these filters and all these uh, things. Uh, let's close this and also this right here. All right, well, what I want to go ahead and do now, I want to simply group these links. Um, so I'm just going to copy this. All right, I'm going to go right here and simply paste this in. And I want to copy this and also paste this in like that. And I'm not going to include the, those routes, despite the fact that we'll, that they will have the same prefix, which is admins, because this, this simply has like a different filter uh, right here. All right, and we're going to actually copy or grab this filter and simply place it right here at the top because... Um, these are simply going to be the inside pages. Nobody can access any one of those links. All right, unless he is logged in. All right, but anybody can access the link of the login form right here. All right, so this is why we're using different filters. As you can see, actually, opposite filters, if you will. All right, so right here, I'm just going to make this so it will be admins as a prefix. I'm also going to remove this from here. Um, all right and again i want to grab this filter maybe i will cut this whole thing and i will go right here and simply uh, go like that so right here this will actually be an array all right all right so it will be like this you know remove this comma and i need this comma to be here all right so save let's now go ahead and try and refresh all right so there is no errors you know there nothing we go back and access the login we're getting back to the index which is amazing if we try to log out and test login once again you know we can see if there is anything is wrong that we need to work with so there it is uh the password there it is the email there it is the index uh page we are in the index page right now and everything looks great all right so to finish this up i'm just gonna Fetch the you know right in the right links or the dynamic links for the home and for the login. So we need to head back to the app. We need to go to the views and we need to go to the master templates of the admin. Um, all right, so there it is. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna go URL underscore tool and let's grab in. Um, in the routes we're gonna find the name for this route so there it is um all right so let's paste this in let's copy this um let's go ahead right here let's paste this in all right so we're gonna go ahead right here in the login link and let's go ahead and paste this in into each ref um but let's grab this right there and let's save let's now go ahead right here and refresh and let's simply yeah open this up like that as you can see we're going to the index page you know so the links are working perfectly but we cannot i cannot simply access the login link so i can try it out because i'm logged in like that um all right so i guess the dose indication system is actually done in the next couple of videos we should like grab the statistics of these uh things right here
right now so in the last video or with the last video we finished um the authentication system the login the validation and, and so on so this video when i go ahead and i to grab the accounts of these uh things right here the applications or the applied jobs actually the admins and the categories and the jobs right here all right so let's go ahead and do this i guess that we have a similar code to the one that we need um you know we wrote we wrote this code already um so if we go to controllers if we go to hmm, i guess that we counted the number of jobs before right so let's go to the jobs controller let's try and look up the word maybe account maybe i see it to be like that all right so we actually got one the number of related jobs right here so let's copy this code let's go to um let's go to the admins controller and we need this to be right here all right so we're going to paste the same actually when i add this function i want to paste it right here under the log um under the logout all right so yeah uh so right here we need to be we need this to be the number of um jobs maybe and this will be this you know this will grab this will be grabbed from the jobs table so we're, we need this db right here um which is simply uh, again if we go back right here all right so we need this constructor so we can actually connect to our database using this db instance right here all right so save this let's go down at the bottom now since we got this db we can and we we're connected to our own database we can now use it inside any functions that we want and you know now we can just grab the data using the um, the query builder way all right which is simply you know doing the table doing the table which is jobs right here so we can go uh we do not need any kind of where so we will we will just remove those you know where's and we will go count all results so we're going to get the number of the records or of the rows inside the jobs um table all right so i want to leave this and i want to also send this right here i'm going to copy this i'm going to go to my index i'm going to go right here and I'm gonna simply go number of jobs and I'm gonna save this. I wanna refresh this like that. Alright. So it's taking a while. I just wanna check if this is working or not, and I will simply do the others. Alright, and number of jobs. So it did not return anything, which means that something is wrong um yeah we need it's equal right here so we do not need to write the echo so we can echo this out all right so since we got the equal sign now as you can see we got three jobs um actually if we we go to the jobs table we will see that we will only have three rows right here um all right so let's actually do the others all right so here we go right there um i'm gonna go to the admins controller once again close this now what we need to do we need to copy those a couple more so this will be categories and we will grab the number of in the categories table and this right here it will be the admins all right and this will it will be grabbed from the admins table and right here this will be um the number of applications all right so the number of apps like that and this will be grabbed from the applied jobs you know a better name for this for this table is actually applications but i made the mistake of choosing the right uh, name all right but it's no problem so all right so let's pass those um let's actually we need to pass these variable names so all right so we also got this all right so there we go now let's copy this and i want to go 
uh, to the index. I guess that we do not need this. And I want to go right here and simply All right, and let's remove that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this part. Actually, let's set some kind of space. Let's paste this also. Let's paste this also right here. All right, so let's now grab the number of admins. All right, and let's grab the number of apps. All right, so save this. And let's refresh all right so the number of categories is it's two the number of admins is one the number of applications is two right here so if we simply go to the number of applications the applied jobs table as you can see two and of course we only have one admin if we go to the categories we should find only two rows right here so now everything is being grabbed dynamically everything looks great um all right so in the next video uh we're going to go ahead and you want to work with the section of admins right here where it's just going to display the admins all right so this will be all and i'll see you on the next one all right now so let's go ahead and move um to the next thing and that is um working with the section admins all right so like always we need to go to the routes and i'm gonna go ahead um all right all right i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna copy this link for example i'm gonna set up some kind of comment and this comment it will be um admins all right and let's go and paste so this right here will be all dash admins right here and this will be all admins or display admins right here all right so this will be admins dot all or right, you can choose that functions in the names of the functions and the names of the routes you know it's totally up to you so let's copy uh the function name and let's paste it right there um all right so i want to grab this i'm gonna paste let's cut this and paste like that all right so all of this it's going to do it simply just uh grabbing the admins all right so maybe we will go ahead and we will import the admin model so we will go use apps slash models slash admin slash admin right there all right so we're gonna go ahead right here and we're gonna go and just an in instantiate the admin model uh so we're gonna go admin like that or we can go admins you know whatever that you like and we can go right here new admin like that so since we grabbed the model now we can simply instantiate it and we will go it's something very simple like this all admins equals and simply we're gonna go for the admins which is the object now we can just use um function find all to grab all the data from this model um all right so for this we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove all of these and we're simply gonna paste this in there's all admins all right and simply this will be displayed in the all admins view which we are gonna be creating right now all right so what's going on where is there at um did we actually import this twice it's so weird so yeah this is why it was telling me that you're importing the model twice so we shouldn't do this and right here we're gonna actually pass in the session so we can check for it all right or it should be passed right away because it's going to be checked um all right so automatically all right so um let's go ahead and create the view copy this go to app let's go to views and um let's go to admins folder let's go ahead go dot php and the code for this of course it's going to be in the design so let's just go to admins dot html and you're gonna find the code we're gonna grab this starting from the admin 
which is a class row we're gonna do this almost always so actually paste this in let's go ahead and simply copy this line pasty right here let's go at the top and copy these two lines and paste them right at the top so we can actually make this whole thing dynamic and simply we want to link to this also you know this links basically is in the master template we're gonna go to views and we're gonna go to layouts and we're simply gonna go to this part and that is right here um all right so we're gonna go url underscore tool and we're simply gonna go save this like that we're gonna pick up this link and let's save this like that all right so let's refresh this and let's open this link up basically all right so did we get a problem i don't think that we that we get and that we're getting any problem um let's go ahead right now since we can see the view and it's working perfectly let's pick up um uh simply the data that we sent which is all admins right here and we're gonna go and simply we will have a couple of trs we're not gonna need uh all of those we will just have one and we will loop through it right away uh so for each like that we're gonna go all admins as admin all right so we're gonna go for this array copy it and we're simply gonna equal out um data as array keys and the array keys are basically uh the columns in the database all right so copy this let's paste this in this will actually be name and let's go right here also and paste this in and this will be email all right so right here i'm just gonna go and simply go int for each and that's all we will go and change this name save all right so as you can see right there now we can actually see our own data um so in the next video we should go ahead and we should um work with this link which is of course for creating new admins so this will be all and i'll see you in the next one all right now so let's go ahead try um and try and create uh the admins or create new admins so like always we're gonna get back to the routes we're gonna pick up this link and this link will, it will just show us uh the form all right so we're gonna go create admins like that and for the function we're just gonna go create admins like that and as for the name we're gonna go admins dot create all right and save this let's copy this function let's go ahead at the controller let's paste this in let's copy this function go right here and paste cut this and go right here and paste all right so simply uh we do not need any of those we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna go right here and simply send in this session um all right so right here we're just gonna go create dash admins copy this and we're gonna go right here we're gonna go up we're gonna go views and we're gonna go to admins we're gonna simply paste this in and go dot php so of course design it will be in the create dash admins right here uh so we're gonna pick up the div with the class row and we're gonna go right right here and just paste this in uh so maybe we'll pick up this code go right to the top and paste it we will go down at the bottom and pick up this code also and go right the, at the bottom of this and simply paste it like that all right so this is also save this um so we want to go back to all admins and we want to find the link this anchor right here um, and we want to link this so it will actually be dynamic all right so we want to go to and we want to go to admins dot create
All right, so save this. All right, so if we simply click on this right here, all right, so we're actually going to the form. We create admins form right here. So now let's go back to the routes. Let's uh, go for the other part right here, which is simply uh, posting the data. All right, so this will be a type of post. This link, we can keep both of those links the same since they're written since they are you know since they're grabbing a form and they're just posting a data right there so since they are related let's keep them like that for the same link but of course um they will have different functions and they'll also have different names all right so save let's copy this function let's go ahead right here let's paste this in um i guess that if we go uh, if we go to controllers, if we go to jobs, uh, I think if we go to jobs controller right there, um, we will find the code that will allow us to insert something. And maybe this is it. Um, so let's copy this whole. Actually, let's go ahead and copy the whole function. Go ahead right here and just go and paste this in. Let's cut this and go ahead right here and paste it. All right. Alright, so we want to instantiate uh, the admins since we're gonna we want to instantiate the admin model since we're gonna insert the data into the admins uh, table. And right here we will just go. Uh, Alright, so this is you know in this array we are gonna catch the data. So right here it will be a column name inside the, the table in the database, and right here it will actually be um, the data that's coming from the input. All right, so we, we need three pieces of data. We need uh, the email, the name, and the password. So this will be email, name, and password right there. All right, so this will come from, this will come from, you know, the input with the name of email. All right, inside the form. And this will come but uh, sorry this will come the email it will come from the input with the name of email and this will come from the input with the name of name and this will come from the input with the name password you know but we have a special case for the password which is that we need to hash this password then to hash your password you simply use password underscore hash like that all right and you simply go ahead right here at this part yeah you leave this comma and you go password default as word default right here all right so this is it so again since we're using the password verify which simply you go back like way back yeah way back um to the the login right here we're using the password verify which simply grabs a password from the database a uh, hashed password from the database and grabs a raw password and match both of them together so we need uh, we need a hashed password we need to insert uh, hashed passwords inside our own column so this is why we're going to use that password hash right basically it takes a piece of data that the user is providing which is right here and it's going to simply hash it and insert it and we're going to insert it right away inside the column all right so right after uh we grab the data inside this array we're simply going to go admin save and we're going to send in this data like that to save the data and we're going to go after we uh insert the data or after we save it we're going to check if we actually saved it we're going to go return redirect to a base url and we're going to go to the base url of admins slash um, all dash admins like that we're not going to send in any kind of ids so um we're going to go ahead and also send in some kind of message which is going to go admin created um successfully like that all right so all right so what's going on 
Yeah, of course. We need a comma right there. Yeah. This is just PHP basics, right? So we want to send in this message. So we need to grab this message and put it in, in the, um, the view. So if we go back to the views and if you go to jobs, we go to job dash single. I think that we left one right here and this page is huge. So we're going to go right away. Control F flash uh, data and that will actually get us our code. Um, and we need to go to admins. Now we set it. Uh, so it will, we will actually go to the all admins. All right. And we're going to set this up uh, maybe at the part in the body right here. All right, so that's fine. All right, so we're going to check if we have the save keyword and the get flash data. Our symbol is just going to echo it out right there. That will actually be all. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think we save this. We go ahead right now. I think that, we, uh, that we're not done with the form. So let's go back to create admins. So we're going to go to the action. I think that that's, this is all what we need to alter or to change. So we're going to go URL to admins dot store like that, which is simply the route for this, for this link. And we're simply going to save this. All right. So for the input right here, we're going to go in the, the name is email and the name right there is actually the name is name. And the name right here is also password. The name right here is password. So yeah, let's save this whole thing. The button is fine. All right, so refresh this. So if we go right there, if we go admin dot second at um, email dot com, and let's copy this and paste. So this is going to be. Um, the admin name and here i'm going to give the password is the same or sorry the email is the same as the password if we click create all right so too few arguments for function blah 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 um yeah why did we even leave um this id we do not need this id we did not set up uh, an id for the route all right so let's go back uh, so let's paste this in, which is the password. It's the same as the email. Let's click create. All right. So as you can see, admin created successfully. And there it is actually the data. We got it right away. And if you go to the admins folder, uh, sorry, the admins table, you'll simply see, um, see this record. And as you can see, the password is actually hashed. We actually log out. We'll go back to the login page. We can now paste both of those right here um, uh, and we can log out with this new um, with this new admin record. We simply go like that. All right, so as you can see, our admin name is right over here. You can simply access anything now uh, and you can see it yourself that we got a number of admins. It's simply two. All right, we can simply do anything that what, what you know, we can do anything we want with the admins right now. It's gonna change this from username. Let's write in the create admins to actually name, which is simply the placeholder. Save, refresh. All right, so as you can see. All right, so this will be all. And the next one, we're gonna move to another section, which is the category section right here. All right, so in the, in the last video, we went ahead and um, we created the admins and now it's time to go for another section which is the category section right here um so i want to go to the routes and i want to go at the bottom of this like always we will start with the routes so just a very simple video and a very simple thing we're just going to copy these routes and we're going to make this categories uh, all dash categories like that and right here i'm gonna go uh display maybe let's pick up this let's go right here and paste let's make it display categories like that so this will be as um 
uh, categories that are like that and save let's copy this um function name and let's paste this in right here all right so let's grab uh yeah so this is this function is pretty similar so we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it right away we're gonna cut this and we're gonna paste all right so we're gonna send in the session uh right here we're gonna go admins dot actually this we're gonna instantiate the categories so we better go categories like that and this will be new category like this all right so we're gonna copy this we're gonna go right here we're gonna paste the same copy this and paste cut this go ahead right here and paste and paste once again um so we're gonna go ahead um right here all right so we already imported the category model and right here we will just go all categories and right here we will go admins we're going to simply find all like that we're going to go all categories and we're going to send this in and we're going to create another um we're going to create another view so copy this go right here at the app and let's go to views let's simply go to admins all right and let's go and paste the same dot php like that all right so let's go ahead categories dash admins let's go ahead right here let's go at this part let's copy it let's go ahead and let's paste the same so categories dash admins right here let's go and paste this in let's save this right now all right and i did not save this page so so we just save it let's copy this and let's go ahead right here you will find that we will have a couple of trs like always so delete those and we're gonna go right here we're gonna go php for each and let's go all categories as category and let's copy this let's go at this part let's copy this part right here and i'm gonna make this so it will be name which is the name of the category and these are just the delete and the update links we're not gonna touch those now so i'm just gonna go php and for each like that those are actually i think those are like keys all right so this will be id this will be name save go ahead right again save all right so go right here and simply yeah we want to link to this in the in the template master so let's go to admin let's go and copy this And let's go ahead right here and um, this will be categories dot all and save let's refresh this all right so if we go to this now all right so as you can see right there we actually got our own categories the programming and the design um if you go to the categories you will see that we have them right there all right so this will be all for this video and the next one we should go ahead and we should create new categories right here so yeah this will be all and we'll see you in the next one all right so in the last video we went ahead and we displayed add categories now we can go ahead and this video and we can create new categories right here and the form it's pretty simple we're just going to insert the name of the category and that will actually be everything all right uh so like always we will go to the categories right here uh to the routes folder and we will go create categories and this will just be a, a route type get you know we will just display the form 
uh, that will allow us simply create new categories. So um, I'm going to go create categories right here. I'm going to name this categories.create. All right, so save this. Let's go ahead and copy this function name. And we'll go to categories. We will, we will go to controllers. We'll go to admins controller right there. We will go ahead and paste this in. Uh, copy this function. And paste this in. Got this. And paste this in like that. And we're going to pass in the session, right? Not to get any errors. Uh, right here, we're going to go return view. Uh, we're going to go to the admins and we're going to go create dash categories right here. All right, so there we go. Now let's copy this. Save the whole thing. Let's go ahead to the views. Let's go to admins and let's create this dot php like that. All right, so great. So what we want to do next, we want to grab the code. So right here, you're going to go to um to the categories actually admins and you're gonna go to category to create dash category right here you're gonna grab the div with the class row copy this and paste um now we're gonna go to the index right here we're gonna go right here right at the top and paste we did not copy this yet so let's paste this in let's go back to the index.php let's copy this Let's go at this part and go ahead and paste the in. So let's go ahead right here and save. Um, and yeah, we want to go ahead and fetch this and you know, fetch the links in all categories. And we're going to fetch it at this anchor. All right, so uh, we're going to go URL underscore tool. And we're going to go categories dot create right here uh so yeah assembly this will allow us to see the form we refresh this now we will just go ahead and click on this create category all right so there we go this will actually should display the form with only one input with the placeholder of name like that all right now let's go back to the routes and let's pick up this link and let's paste so this will allow us to submit the data and this will be we will keep those basically the same names create categories right here and right here we will just change this from store admins to store categories like that and we will also change this name from we will change the name to categories.store so save the whole thing copy the function let's paste this in and this will look really similar to uh, store admins so copy the function and paste like that cut this and go ahead and paste all right so we're going to instantiate the categories so i'm going to go categories like that and here i'm going to instantiate the category model and right here we will just grab um the input we're going to grab the data from the input with the name of name and we're going to send it right along to the name Right here which is simply the column inside our own uh, database or a table all right and right after this we're going to go ahead and use the object right here we're going to go save and we're going to send in the data right here um all right and we're going to go f category so we're going to go return redirect to base url so after we create the categories we're going to go create all dash categories like that and we're going to send and the save and right here we will go category and save this whole thing let's copy this now let's go right here and um let's go ahead all right so this will be all dash categories.php all right so a file or a folder all categories already existed yeah yeah this should not be all categories this should be create dash categories actually so sorry about that so there we go um it's telling me that this also exists so which is weird yeah 
yeah we're not gonna yeah sorry about that we're not gonna we're not gonna create yeah we're not gonna create a view i'm very sorry this this is a confusion we're not gonna create a view so after after we insert or save the data we're gonna head back to all categories which is simply a route or sorry a link all right it's not a view uh so yeah we're gonna go back with this message so we need to go to all admins and we're gonna pick up this message gonna go back to all categories and we're gonna send this message right at the top of this and we're simply gonna save like that all right so uh, i guess that this is all for the logic all right what we need to take care of is the create dash categories right here so let's take care of the action and i think that will be all we're just gonna go url to um and we're gonna go categories dot store right here and save and refresh this all right so now let's try and type in our category what do you think that we should call this um i think we need to go like um teaching maybe you know we can have teaching jobs we click create all right so as you can see category um created successfully and there it is a third record so we can go inside the categories right here we can simply refresh this and there it is our record um so in the next video we should take care of either the delete or the update so yeah this will be our this will be all and i will see you in the next one right now so let's go ahead and take care of the next thing which is updating updating the data right here all right so this is here is how the update will work well i actually we actually did an update like twice we did it for the cv and we did it for the profile you know but that's totally fine i can explain that again simply once uh, once we click on this link we will go to a form that's similar to the create categories form and we will display this piece of data this specific piece of data whether it's programming design and so on and right after we display it uh, we will allow the user to simply update the data and then submit the data you know just like creating a, you know a data um all right so it's it's no big deal basically it's it's pretty simple um all right so let's go back to the routes and let's go right here copy this we need a link you know first that will allow us to view the data so we will name this link edit dash categories like that and we will name this right here the function name edit categories like that all right you're gonna actually send in some kind of of id or some kind of parameter right so we can actually know uh, which which trigger that we're trying to uh, that we're trying to update all right so inside for this function we also need to send in the dollar one right there and we need to send in the slash so we can single that we are gonna you know grab some kind of parameter with this function right here all right so let's uh, uh create let's change this to edit so we can give it a distinctive name let's copy this let's go right here and let's paste this in um all right so again this will just return a very simple um a very simple view with some data so we're gonna send in the data for the session of course and right here i'm grabbing an, an id right i'm gonna use this id simply um go ahead and grab the data this specific data but before this we need to go ahead and we need to go uh categories like that we need to instantiate the category right here so we're gonna go category like that all right and right after this we're gonna go categories we're gonna go find so we're gonna find the data with this id so if we find this data that means that the variable that we are going to be creating right here which is simply category like that it will simply grab all the data you know this whole row all right so let's go ahead copy this and let's send this in and paste and this right here will be edit dash categories and let's copy this 
And let's simply go ahead. And let's go ahead and paste this in. So we will go with that PHP like that. And actually, up to, for updating the data, we'll have a view which we, we, we will have a view which is the update dash category right here. All right, so we're gonna go for that div with the class row. We will grab this and we will go right here. It'll paste this in and right here, all admins. And we will go right here and simply go HP and section. And we forgot that we need to add in this end section like that. All right, so save this. Um, so let's now grab the data. So we will grab the data and we will place it inside um, this input. And we will go right here and go echo. And we will go category. And we will simply add in the name like that. All right, so let's now save this. All right, so something is wrong. Yeah, we do not need this echo since we made uh, our PHP tag to look like this. All right, so save. Um, let's go ahead and refresh. All right, so we need, we still need to send in the ID and the links in the view in the all categories right here. So let's go right here at the part of the link. I'm just going to go base URL. And we're going to send in um, degrees dot edit right here. And we're going to send in also the category ID. We need to send in the ID also right here. So in order for this to work. Now let's save. Let's go ahead and refresh. All right. So as you can see right there. Um, all right. Something is wrong. Um, all right. So what is it? All right. So base, this should be URL. Yeah, of course. This should be URL too. Not base URL. To refresh. All right, so as you can see right there, if you look down at the bottom left of the screen, we're going to see that we're going to slash edit dash category slash to if we try to open this up. Let's also open this up. We're going to find that we should uh, attempt to property name and array. Yeah, so let's go to edit category. Let's close this and this should not be grabbed as an object in instantiation this should be grabbed as a key and uh, let's paste this in all right so let's refresh all right so as you can see right there now this will display an error but we already fixed it so as you can see teaching right here so this should grab every you know the data that's related to this id so now let's go ahead and remove this. I want to update the last record, which is teaching. So now the part for the, the logic for um, updating the data. All right, so I'm going to go paste. So this will be a type post. We can keep those the same. We're going to send in the idea so we will know uh, which record to update. And we will go right here, admin slash admins controller. And right here we will go uh, update categories like that and we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go update like that all right so save this copy this function and go right here let's paste this in um let's copy this go right here and paste so let's cut this and paste like that all right so sorry for the freezing the power went out all right, so let's paste the same like that. And we're gonna, of course, grab in an ID and we're gonna send in the session. Actually, the session does not matter at this point, so, or at this function. So, yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna pick up the data. 
So we only have the name that we will need to update. So we're going to go with this and we're going to go request. So we're going to pick up um, the data. All right, that's coming from the import with the name of name. This is how we will update this. So we're going to remove this part. And we're going to go categories. We're going to go update. And we're going to send in the ID first. And we're going to send in the data that will simply allow, to up, allow us to update this. All right, so right after we update this, we want to go back uh, to our route. So we're going to pick up this F statement instead of this view. All right, so after we update, I'm going to go return direct to the base URL of all categories, all dash categories, with some kind of message. This message will have a key of update. And it will have the message of, or the value of updated category updated successfully so save the whole thing and yeah let's go ahead to all categories let's pick up this message copy it and go right here and paste like that let's paste like that and save all right so here we go. All right, so now let's change this. So this will be something like teaching. Maybe we can go languages, you know. All right, so there we go right there. If we simply go, did we like take care of the form? We go back to edit yeah we did not take care of the form so if we go url underscore two we will just send in the categories dot um update i guess and we need to send in also the id so do not forget this so we're gonna go categories and we're gonna also send in the id all right, so since we already, we're already sending the whole data or the whole row uh, as an array, we can just grab the ID like that, just like we grabbed the name. All right, so save this whole thing. Let's just copy this, and I want to refresh. All right, so let's paste this in. Click Update. All right, so Category updated successfully. You can see that this is updated now to teaching languages. You can go right here, and you can simply click Browse. All right, so as you can see right there, teaching languages. So, yeah, this is how you update uh, these categories. So, yeah, and uh, uh, to finish this up, we will just leave the delete for the next video. All right, so to the last thing that's related to this section, and that is um, <clears throat> deleting uh, deleting the records right here, or, the, or deleting the categories um all right so we're gonna go back to routes like always we're gonna pick up a link and we're gonna go and this will be delete dash categories and we're gonna send in some kind of id like like that and right here i'm just gonna change the function to delete categories and right here i'm gonna make this so it will be categories dot delete like that and save this let's copy this function and let's go to admins controller let's go ahead and paste like that um i want to go ahead and want to pick up this link um or maybe this link let's paste this in let's cut this and paste this in all right so we're gonna send in daddy um we're gonna go ahead right here and uh, actually, we do not need the session. So right here, we're going to instantiate the category model, model, and we're just going to go right here, and we're going to go delete. It's going to use the delete function right away. We're going to send in the ID like that. Um, so after we delete, I actually want to go and check if we deleted our record. 
we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna redirect back to all categories we're gonna go and redirect back to the delete right here so this will be category deleted successfully like that um all right so save this let's go ahead back to the all categories right here let's go and copy this and paste delete like that and let's copy this and paste and save all right so i want to go also to the all categories and i want to send in daddy it's like what i did to the update i'm just going to go ahead and paste like that and this will be categories dot delete and we're going to send in the id save the whole thing let's go ahead right here and refresh all right so it looks like that yeah okay so if you hover over this now you can see down at the bottom left that it's going to a link of slash delete categories uh, slash three which is the dynamic id one two or three right there so if i click this all right so undefined variable category um let's go back to the controllers yeah this needs to be the object right here so save this let's go ahead right now and refresh all right so as you can see category deleted successfully so if we go back right now Um, if we go back right now and refresh this, we should see that this will be deleted. The third record. So as you can see, actually deleted right there. And it's also deleted from the view. All right, so this will be all. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, now, so in the last video, we went ahead and we wrapped up um, the categories uh, section. Now it's time to go ahead and take care of the job section. So like always we will just display the jobs that we will have all right uh, a couple of uh, you know a uh, couple of pieces of pieces of information all right um so let's go to app let's go to the routes um routes in the config file so we're gonna go with the routes first like always and let me go right here down at the bottom and let me go um jobs all right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna copy this or just this. I'm gonna paste. So this will be all dash jobs. All right, and we're gonna simply go with the function of uh, display jobs like that. All right, and we're gonna name this jobs dot all. Now let's go ahead and create this function. Let's go to app. Let's go to controllers. Let's go to admins. And there it is, admins controller. Let's go ahead and paste this. So this will be a lot similar, as you might guess, to the all categories um, controller, or sorry, function. All right, so display categories right there. All right, so paste this in, cut this, and paste like that. So we're gonna send in the session, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna instantiate the jobs uh, model. Um, all right, so new job like that. So I want to go right here. I want to copy this and paste. I want to go like this, jobs. And right here, we will just grab the object that we created. And we're going to find all the jobs like that. And then we're going to return the view of all jobs. All right. And in the comment back, we're going to send in the session and our function. All right. So save this. Let's go ahead and try to import this model first. So we do not trigger an error so copy this and paste copy this and paste all right so cut this and paste like that so you'll go to the job folder in the models and we will grab the job uh, model right here all right so this is it let's now copy this name of the view and let's go ahead and create it in the admins folder all right so dot php um so what else let's go to our uh to our code so we're gonna go to the show dash jobs in the jobs dash admins category or sorry folder and let's pick up this code like always um so i want to go to any one of those views let me pick up 
the code that will allow me to display um you know to display the header and to fetch in the dynamic body or start the section and i can also go ahead and pick up the code that will allow me um <clears throat> in this section all right so i'm just gonna paste it down here all right so save the whole thing and let's now go ahead and try and loop through these jobs so you'll have a couple of trs so go ahead and delete those trs um and we will only leave one so we can actually loop through it all right so i'm gonna go php for each uh all jobs actually let me wrap this up as job so we're just gonna sit in this array name and we're gonna go right here a job and assembly we're gonna send in the idea like that all right so let's copy this and right here we will go title all right so job title is it job title or title i think it's actually a title and right here is the category so keep this category like that and right here is um <clears throat> that's the company name and right here is the location and this is simply the link for the lead so we're gonna leave this out of the way for now and we're just gonna end this for each like that all right so there we go right there um so now let's save this let's go ahead and refresh <clears throat> actually excuse me we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna link this and and this link it will be in the admin.php uh so we want to pick up this url and you want to go right here and we're gonna go uh jobs that all save and let's go ahead and refresh let's open this up all right so as you can see right there we got the jobs right here so there is the job title the category the company and the job region right here um so yeah this will actually be all maybe i will go to this page once again and i will go location like that save all right so the next one we should go ahead and we should create new jobs right here all right so this will be all and i'll see you in the next video all right now so let's go ahead and try and uh you know display the form that will allow us to create new jobs and let's submit the data and create new jobs all right um so let's go to the routes let's go right here and let me pick up this link i want to paste so this will be create dash jobs all right and for the function i will go jobs or actually create jobs right here all right and we will keep this jobs dot create let's copy this let's go ahead right here let's paste this in let's paste like that so we're going to send in the session and we're going to instantiate uh actually we do not need to instantiate we will huh i think that we need to grab the categories and send it in right here so we can make uh so we can echo out the categories dynamically all right so yeah for now let's just comment this right and let's actually remove those and we will just be occupied with only displaying the form all right so i'm gonna go and create this form which is simply the create dash jobs form all right so i want to copy this and i want to go down at the bottom right here and i want to create a new file i will name this create dash jobs.php 
And if we go right here and we copy this, paste like that. All right, so we will go right here, all jobs. Let's paste this in. Let's copy this also. Go down at the bottom and paste this right here. Now let's paste this here also. So let's go to the old jobs. All right, so right here you are L2. So we will go right here to let's copy this or let's paste this in let's now go ahead and save and let's go ahead right here and refresh let's open this up all right so as you can see right here there it is the form and uh, what we need to do, we need to actually go ahead and grab um, grab the categories and loop through them right here. So we'll make the part of the category dynamic. All right. So, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is basically what I was talking about. All right. So we're going to instantiate the categories. So we're going to go categories. We're going to go new category right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go categories. We're gonna go uh, find all. All right, we're gonna use the model way. Um, then we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go all categories equals this. All right, so let's copy this and send it in right here in the comeback. Now let's go to the create categories. Let's go to the part where we have this like box uh we will go ahead right here and remove one of these options so we can actually loop through the other so we're gonna go php for each and we're gonna go right here all categories as category let's copy this Let's go category like that and we will go name. Let's copy this and go value. All right, so after we wrap up the for each loop and we will refresh. All right, so we got a problem. Yeah, of course, I made the mistake again. So let me remove this and this will actually be a name like that. All right, so let's copy the whole thing. This should be an array and it should be a key like that. So go ahead and refresh and I should actually find uh the two categories that we have you know which is the programming and the design and of course if we create another one it should actually pop up right here um so yeah let's go back to the admins controller actually let's go back to the routes and create the link that will uh, that will allow us to simply post the job all right so we will go create dash categories right here we'll make this create dash job so we can make the get and the post the same link all right but we're gonna of course change um, we are going to change the function all right so we're going to go store jobs and right here we will go jobs.store and now we're going to name this link all right so let's copy this and let's go to the part of you know uh, let's go to the controller and paste this in um all right so let's go to the store categories copy this let's go ahead right here oh, let's paste Let's cut this and paste like that. All right, so we're gonna instantiate the jobs. Uh, we're gonna instantiate the job model, which is a class like that. 
and then we will need to grab the data from the form and then we will just use the save um save function you know with this jobs object and send in the data and the data will be saved right away all right so let's just grab the data first so we will have quite a bit of data to grab so uh we will need to grab the job title which is simply the title uh and this is the location actually all right so we'll go right here title and we will grab this data from this request all right we will go get host and we will grab the name of the input that we're gonna grab the data from so this will be title all right so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna copy this multiple times and just paste so right after this we'll have the location all right so let's paste this in and right here we will have uh the company name all right so this will be a company actually let's grab the names from you know we can just make everything safe so we'll not make too many mistakes and we can grab the names from um let's leave the you know the company image for a second or actually let's copy it we can grab the names from the columns right here so we do not make too many mistakes all right so this is uh uh the company job we will just keep it like this for a second all right we will get back to the to the image all right so we'll have the company name right after this we will grab this from the input with the company name um all right and right after this did we grab the location i think we grabbed the location yeah right after this we will have the job type all right so we will grab also published on Will be right here also we will grab the number of vacancies we will go vacancy right here and vacancy and we will also grab the experience the salary all right so let's copy this and paste a couple of times so after the salary we have the gender and the category location deadline job description and responsibilities All right, so we'll have the education and experience. All right, and other benefits right here. All right, so we're not gonna need those. All right, so I guess that the only thing that's left right now is just the company image. All right, so for the image, I guess that we inserted an image before or a file. If we just go to the jobs controller, um, let me see if we go to the user's controller i think that we submit the cv which is a file it's going to be really similar so there is there it is you know a part for submitting this so copy this part and go right here above uh, above the data array so we will go file uh we can actually go yeah we can leave this file we can name it image you know whatever that we want so we can go image like this and go this request get file and we will grab this from the input um that has the company image in it all right so this is the name of the input inside the form and then we will move this to the public slash assets slash images like that all right and right after this we'll get the file name actually this should be image and this should be image also all right so we will get the file name right here actually image name all right so we're gonna pick up this since this is the name that we need to insert in inside our own um inside our own database column and we will just paste it right here 
all right so again uploading the image it's pretty simple to simply uploading the file it's the same thing because the image is just a file right so we will just grab the data itself all right and then we will move the image physically to this images uh folder which if which is if you go to public you go to assets and if you go you will find the images folder right here all right and we will go image name all right and inside the image name we will go ahead and grab the image name so you know the name of the image that we need to insert inside our own column and we will go ahead and we will match it with the company image right there um all right so this is this is it so i want to go ahead next and i want to um work with the form actually let's finish this up first so after we after we insert i'm gonna check right here if we insert it we're gonna go back to the all jobs route job we're gonna go job create successfully like this and save all right so the next step it will actually be uh grabbing um grabbing the message right here so if we copy this and go to all admins yeah we already yeah we, we need to go to all jobs not all admins we want to go ahead and want to paste this we're going to send in the save key, the save keyword in order to actually go ahead and um show this message all right so yeah i want to go ahead and i want to save this now let's go ahead to the create jobs and let's check out the form so i'm gonna go at the top and for the action i'm just gonna remove this and go for the action url underscore two and we're simply gonna fetch in the action of jobs dot store all right so this is all in the method it's post and we need to we need to send in the ink type part so um so we so we we will be able to uh, upload an image all right or we will be able to upload a file with this for otherwise it's not going to work uh so let me go to users and let me go to update cv and inside the form in this part we will find we'll find the ink type right here right so copy this and go ahead and paste all right so if you remember we actually made a mistake and we did not include this once we you know when we tried to upload the cv and that you know that uh that error nagged me a lot um so yeah right here we will go and change the names based on the names that we see right here all right so we will have for example here as a title all right and we'll go right here this is the job instead of the job region we will name this to location all right so we got these options right here we will just need um you could have created like a table for uh the places and we should have selected them you know we can we, we can do that you, you know you can do that that by yourself well basically you're going to create a model and you're going to create a table and those will be just for the places all right uh, or for the locations all right maybe that will be the name of the model location and you will insert a couple of dummy data about the locations maybe all of these locations and you will go ahead and you're gonna grab the data just like what we did for the categories all right so for now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna uh, remove this whole thing and i'm just gonna add in new york all right so this is your task basically you go ahead um and do this part so new york i'm gonna keep this schedule like that so i'm gonna go value uh right here i'm gonna send it in new york copy because we need the value right here <clears throat> excuse me um so you're gonna need the value because it's gonna grab the data from the value right it's not gonna grab it from the html content all right so there we go so we're just going to set up those for now um all right so to the next thing and that is um the company right here so this should be the company name i guess so we're going to go and grab the company name and paste this in um 
All right, so for the job type, I guess then the name is job type right here, and it's fine. As you can see, we can simply copy it and paste it if we want to. And again, we need to set up the values right here. So we're going to go value, and we're going to make this part-time. Copy this and paste. Now copy this whole thing. Go down the bottom and paste. And let's grab this. Copy and paste like that. All right. So right after this, we will have the vacancy. Let's pick up the vacancy right here. And let's paste this in. They will have the experience. Um, let me see. Yeah, the experience one to two or three years and all of that. So we can go ahead and grab the experience and we can set it up right here. All right. So we we'll also have to set up the value for it. We have quite a lot of black boxes right here in this form. Uh, so let's go ahead, copy those. Go ahead and paste this in. Let's now copy this. Go ahead right here and do an alt and simply paste like that. All right, so copy this, paste right here. All right, copy this also, and paste right here. All right, so awesome. So for the salary, um, all right, so again, let me grab these values. Paste, so I have to copy this, and we have to go like that, and let's copy this also. And go right here like that, and there we go. All right, <clears throat> so the gender right here. All right, so let's go ahead and paste. Let's copy this, paste, copy this, and paste, copy this, and paste. Now let's go down at the bottom. All right, so this is the application deadline. Um, all right, so the salary and the gender and the category. All right, so let's copy this application deadline. I feel like that we missed um, that we missed the published on. All right, if we did not find uh, an input for it, we're gonna add it. All right, but let's keep going. So the job description right here uh, is that a job description or? We have the application deadline twice. Um, no, no, we don't. No, we do not have it twice. So yeah, let's paste this in and the responsibilities. Let me just copy it so I don't actually make any kind of typos. All right, so education and experience. All right, so we will have also the the other benefits right here. All right, so we'll also have the categories. And um, there it is, the category. Um, so the name is right here. All right, so it, it was actually wrong. So this was like a possible error right there. Uh, so for the image, I'm going to keep this. The name of the image is basically the company image. So we need to see it right here. And we need to keep this all right. So input type submit name and submit and all of that. So yeah, everything else is fine. So maybe we do not have uh, an input for the published on date. All right. So we have to go ahead. We have to refresh this. All right. So there we go. Right over here. I guess that everything is fine. Let's just try and add some kind of input that we that will handle this the published on right here all right and hopefully we will try this out and nothing like uh nothing blows up you know um so there it is i guess if we copy this and we go published on All right, so we will go right here and paste. All right, so copy this. All right, here and paste. All right, so there we go. Now let's save this. 
placeholder. All right, so no nothing matters basically for the placeholder. It doesn't matter for now. So after we save, let's refresh. And there, there we go right there, the published on. So if we copy this, let's go ahead and try to look this up. All right, so we only got one. All right, so that's fine. I was just checking if we have another one and, it, and I did not see it. Um, all right, so let's try and actually um, insert our first job. So we will go something like, um, what should we go like? Basically, we can go English teacher. All right, for the job region, I'm going to keep this Cairo, and the company is uh, teaching stars. All right, something weird like this. Oh, that's totally up to you. All right, and for the job type, it's part time. For the vacancy, it's going to be one to experience, one to three years. The salary is 50k to 70k dollars. Which is crazy because this is in Cairo, so maybe we'll keep it in New York. You know, it doesn't matter anyway because we're trying to just, um, you know, this is a fake job basically. So for the application deadline, let's pick up something from here. Um, all right, so we can pick up this and publish on. We will, we can pick up this. All right, for the job description, let's pick up any kind of random fake text and let's paste also right here, right here, and right here, and right here. So the category, there is no category for teaching, but we can go for something weird like programming for now. All right, we can change it later if we want to. So for the image, well, um, for the image, we want to go ahead and we want to pick up. Um, did, did this form contain like the company yeah we have the company name right here so um you know concerning the image wanna i want to go back to my c drive i want to go to exam hd docs and i want to go to my you know ci dash job board i want to go to public and i want to go to where my image my images are all right so there we go we got this so i want to pick up uh you know some kind of um some kind of uh image right here cut it so i can actually and i will place it in some other place and i will go ahead and i will uh, upload it all right and i will see if it's uploaded or not all right just to check if we're actually uploading something or not i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna paste this in all right so there we go right there if we go right here all right so the image is not there anymore all right, so for the name of the image, it's job logo underscore one, which is simply the, the image itself is not here. We're starting from two, three, four, and so on. All right, so now let's go ahead and try and pick up this image. All right, so I'm going to go desktop. I'm going to go right here and simply grab this. And if I click save job. All right, so job created successfully. It's actually right there, but the category is not being grabbed. So. This is this is a problem right there. We have to fix it. Let's go ahead and let's check out the record. Let's see if, if there is any other weird thing. All right, so this is the category. It's not being grabbed, but I, I guess that everything else that everything else is being grabbed right here, and it's being inserted. So the company name is right there. Uh, the image is actually right there. Job underscore logo underscore one. So let's let's check out. Um, if, if we uploaded the image or not so let's go to images and we will go yeah and we will find our our image right there so uploading the image is actually working if you go back you're gonna find that, that there is a copy of this image right there all right so uploading the image it's working perfectly but there is a problem with uh, there is a problem with the category all right so let's let's check out the category in here all right, so there is the category copy it and let's go the admins controller now let's check in the category so there is the category right there and there is the category right there paste and save let's go back to create dash jobs so let's check out the part of the category 
um so there it is category all right so paste and save all right so there is the value degree and let's when we're grabbing the name and category right here and we're grabbing the name all right so let's look back yeah this should be all categories uh no for each all categories as category uh we um all right so this is weird category right here name everything everything looks fine so what's what's the problem basically uh you know if something is wrong with grabbing the data from an input it must be either the name or the data itself inside the input but the value is right here and the category and we're sending the name so nothing nothing is wrong maybe we will go hp echo category but it's basically the same thing so that's the problem so let's save let's go back to the form actually and let's go back at this part and let's try and just check for the value all right so there is the name and where is the value basically if we open this up all right so we got the value right there so it should actually pick this up so what's the problem um name class blah 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 um title the title is select gender should be select category not gender let's add it right here and paste but that's not the solution of the problem this is why that does not matter to me now um all right so let's try this out once more all right let's try to go ahead and try and insert this so i want to go ahead and just um I want to go right here and you want to delete this record all right so let's try refresh did we save everything we saved everything so for the title i'm going to keep this so it will be english teacher all right so this is cairo it's real quick company stars job type part-time vacancy one to, one to three years and we're going to keep it like this mail application deadline we can go back and we can grab the application deadline from here just real quick so published on all right so copy this and paste the job description um let's pick up the code and uh, let's go ahead and paste all right so i want to reset this and i want to simply paste this in like that and i'm going to keep this programming i'm going to pick up the same image all right so if we click save job all right all right so what's going on basically all right so there's a problem with the category right here that i cannot seem to grasp so it's not grabbing the category which which is weird because it should, should actually trigger an error not and should not insert anything it should me should tell me something like you cannot insert a category on null something like this so let me stop all right so the the problem was essentially in in the job model so open up your job model you're gonna see that we did not even add the category column right here so this is why it's not taking an effect uh, all right everything is, is everything is right about the controller uh sorry about the function about the form and all of that but we did not add the category right here so this is why all right so after we add the category did not even try this out but let's go to create jobs right here let's go ahead and go um french teacher right here all right so new york company um french stars all right so the job time part time vacancy one experience one to three years salary all right male 
agenda application deadline we can pick up something from here um they can pick up this the published on all right so we're gonna pick up this let's go ahead and copy just real quick because this video is over 30 minutes right right now all right so the category let's give it like that and i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pick up the image gonna go save job all right so as you can see right there now the category is inserted all right so let's delete this record all right so this will basically be be everything and i will simply see you in the next video all right now so let's go ahead and try and delete the jobs you know using this link so i don't want to just go ahead and delete the job uh you know the record from the database i but also i want to go ahead and delete uh the file or the image that's actually related to this to this job which is the company uh image for you know right here um so yeah let's go ahead right here and try and do this um so yeah let's go right here and let's go to the routes let's go ahead and pick up this for example let's paste so this will be a type of get and right here this will be delete dash jobs all right and we're gonna go right here and we're simply gonna go name or actually a number because we need to send in the id all right in order to actually go ahead and delete this and we're gonna send in a slash dollar sign one right here and this will be a name of uh jobs dot delete and let's save and let's go ahead and paste like that all right so this should actually be the yeah function right here it should be delete jobs like that let's copy this let's go ahead and paste all right so right here we will go ahead let's go and grab this paste the in. let's go ahead and cut this and paste the in, and we're going to send in the id all right and we need to instantiate the job model so i'm going to go job right here all right so since we instantiated this we can simply go ahead and we can go job and we can simply go ahead jobs right here and we can simply go find and we're going to find the record um we're going to find the record based on the id that we're sending in right here all right so right after this we can simply use the unlink function to delete this file and all what we need to do is to just send in the assets are actually public slash asset assets slash images Slash, and we're simply going to send in the name of this file all right and since we got the job since we got the whole row right here we can just copy this we can go right here and we can simply send in the company let's actually go ahead and grab it um you can simply send in the column name and this one should grab the data all right so there it is all right so now should actually delete the image all right and again the l-link function will just delete a file uh, whether it's an image or pdf and so on but you gotta send it the directory of this file and um you gotta send it also the name of the file all right so there we go so right after this we're just gonna go um mm, we're gonna go jobs delete like that and this this line it will delete the record um all right so simply right after we delete we're gonna go ahead right here we're gonna hit back to all jobs all right and we're gonna send in the keyword delete and we will go job delete it successfully and we will save so let's just copy um yeah we need to go back to all jobs and we're gonna copy this we're gonna paste and we're gonna send in the delete right here all right so this should actually display the message that we have right here all right i did not save the routes so save the routes like that 
Um, now let's go to all jobs once again because we need to set in need to set up this part. We need to go ahead and we need to go URL underscore two and we need to go right here um, and go. We need to copy this and right here we will go job and we will go id right here all right so there we go let's go ahead and refresh this All right, so as you can see, if you look down at the bottom right here, you will see the lead dash job slash seven, which is the ID. And if you look at this record, like the record with the ID of seven, let's check out its, you know, its uh, image name, which is job underscore logo underscore one, which is simply if we go to, uh, if we go to CI dash jobs, if we go to where the images are, as you can see, it's this image right there. So if this worked perfectly, if deleting the image worked perfectly, this image should actually be gone. All right, so let's go ahead and click this. All right, so as you can see, job deleted successfully. We go right here if we go browse. All right, so the record is gone. Let's see if the image is gone or not. And as you can see, the image is actually gone from here, which means that everything is working perfectly. All right, so in the next one, we should move to the last application. Uh, sorry, to the last uh, section, which is the jobs right here. All right, now, so let's go ahead and move to the last section. And that will be the applications, which is simply the data that's coming from the applied jobs table. All right, the applications that these guys send for the jobs. Um, so let's go ahead and try um, and go back to routes. So I'm going to go right here and this will be the last section so this will be applications i'm just going to keep it apps like that all right i'm going to go ahead and copy this and i paste so this will be all apps all right you can keep it applications you can keep it apply jobs anything that you like all right so i'm going to go all apps um right here so all right so this will be as apps dot all save the whole thing copy this let's go this right here i'm gonna go ahead and paste this in all right i'm gonna go copy this now go ahead and paste this in so we're gonna send in the session we're gonna go ahead right here we're gonna go apps and this will be new and this will be the applied job model so if we go to app if we go to models we go to apply jobs we're gonna pick up the name copy this go right to the top and let's try copy this and paste cut this paste and paste all right so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna paste this in so we're gonna go um and instantiate this model you know we're gonna grab this object and we're gonna simply find all like that so i'm gonna also rename this so it will be all apps i'm just gonna keep this a big e right here i'm gonna send this in all right and i'm gonna change this to all apps and create this view and send along the data right along with the session um so we're gonna go to views we're gonna go to admins let's create this so that php like that now let's go ahead right here let's Oh, the applications dash admins and we all we only have this file um go ahead and copy this dev let's paste this in so we're gonna go ahead right here we're gonna go right at the top we're gonna copy this and actually let's go right at the top and paste this in i will also go down at the bottom of this copy this We'll go ahead and go ahead and paste this in. All right, so let's actually close this. 
and close this i'm just gonna go to admin.php um then i wanna send in the route so this will be apps dot all and save now let's go ahead and try um and delete those PRs. HP for each right here. And we're going to go all apps as app. All right, so let's copy this. Let's go right here and let's go app right here. And this will be the ID. Let's copy this. So this is the link for the CV. Maybe we need to view this CV for this guy. So I'm going to go right here. Um, I'm going to go actually base underscore URL. And let's go ahead and also send in the public slash assets. And we'll go to the CVs folder. And we're simply going to send in this data. Actually, I fetched this to be an object again, an instantiation of an object, and it should be an array key. All right, so basically, it got stuck. ID like that. This should actually be a CV, not an ID. We're trying to grab a CV here. All right, so let's copy this right now. Let's go ahead at this part. So, this is the job ID. I don't think it's that useful to grab it, but you know, whatever. Um, let's paste this in. This is the job underscore title. And it's assembly the company. This guy is applying for. So I'm going to go company underscore name. And this is simply the delete button. So we are going to just um, leave it for now. This will be for the next video. Now let's go ahead and save. Let's refresh. All right, so simply we go to all apps. We actually, you know, we will see it like that. So there we go. This is the CV. Basically, the CV is the same CV right there. So the job title is product designer, and here it's all pro it's also product designer. So basically, we have two applications with the same job title, and the companies are right here. And then the job ID is right here. So yeah, basically the data is being grabbed. For example, if I open this up, it should open up the CV. So maybe we'll download the CV, we will view it and all of that. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and check something and the apply job. So should we like display any kind of data? It's actually a room for, for a couple of data that we can display maybe we'll display the email and the location of these applications now let's check all right so for the company image uh, all right so the title is product designer and it's back in developer so why it's displaying the back end designer right here um all right are we even grabbing the data um for each all apps as app and we're simply grabbing the data like that um let's see right here so the location is bama amazon all right so that's fine all right so this should not be job title this should be only title so this was the problem all right, so it's back in developer right now. So, all right, all right, so this is working perfectly. I just want to go under the company. I'm going to copy and paste. So, this will be the email for this guy, and this will be the location. All right, I also want to go right here email, and this will be the location. All right, simply refresh, and here you can find the location and email for this guy. Um, all right, if you want to add some more data, that's totally up to you, but I'm going to stop right here. Let's check out actually the CV. All right, so it's basically the same CV. Uh, do we have like another kind of CV in our, um, 
in our public in our series folder yeah we have two series so maybe we will copy one of those and paste it right here you know i don't think that's a good idea because it's basically the same user who is applying so let's keep it like this the important thing is is you know that this is actually opening up um so yeah this will be all and i'll see you in the next video all right so i guess this is the last you know the last video in this section so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete these applications if we want to and i think you know that this is going to be really similar to deleting the jobs so let's copy this one and let's paste so this will be delete dash apps we will send in an id all right and we will go right here this will be delete apps we're going to send in slash dollar sign one so we will know that this function you know it will have an id right along with it that's you know a parameter that's sent to it and this right here it will be apps that delete so copy this go right here and paste all right so we're going to copy this function and go right here and paste let's cut this let's paste like that all right um so we're gonna send in the id we're gonna go apps and this will be grabbed from we're gonna instantiate the apply job model all right so we're gonna go right here like that and we're gonna go apps we're gonna go app jobs find id all right so right after actually this should be apps like that so we need to grab this object in order to interact with this model so we're gonna find the id all right after we find the id we should go ahead and we should grab this id um sorry we should grab the whole you know if we found the id this whole this whole variable now it will grab the whole uh it will actually be an array and it will grab the whole row so since we already have the whole row we can simply grab the cv from it like that all right so we will go to the cvs um the cvs folder right and we will send in the name and the link function should delete the cv also right along with it all right so right after we delete the file we will go ahead and we will delete the record simply using the delete function and right after we delete we should go back to all apps view which we created and we will go back with a, a delete message of application delete it successfully so copy this and go ahead all apps we will um i guess if that if we, if we go to all admins for example we will find this code and we will go, we will go right here and we will paste so this will be a delete let's send in this word also at this part let's paste this in um so yeah i guess that this is all actually we want to go to all apps and we want to send in the link right along with the id at this part we want to go url underscore two and you want to go um let me see i want to go to um apps that delete and i want to go to app and actually send in the id right along with this so we can know which applications or which record that we're trying to delete all right so save the whole thing let's go ahead right here and refresh and if we hover over this now you can see that we're going to slash delete dash apps slash three so maybe we will delete this all right so as you can see application deleted successfully if we go right here and if we refresh that all right so as you can see right here the record now got deleted if we go ahead the public if we go to assets cvs you'll find that you know the cv.pdf file got deleted and if we try and click this once again maybe we will get an error because we're trying to look for a cv.pdf and there is no file with this right here all right so that's fine let's go ahead and refresh right now let's go back actually 
All right, let's refresh this. All right, so this is still right there. That's not deleted yet because not deleted yet because again, uh, we do not have this file. You know, this file right here, pv.pdf. All right, so this is why. Maybe we will delete this from here. All right. All right, so that's fine. We can we can actually go ahead and you can make an application. All right, and simply try and delete it right here, and you will see it's working perfectly. Um. All right, so yeah, this will actually be everything, and I will see you in the next video.